Disney. So tired out of getting. Side, but actually, it's feels kind of good. Well, I'm going by the crazy guy who shoots his machine gun all the time. sold out to uh, three string oh where's all these ankle biters miles an hour unless you go in and change the uh, settings then you can go up to about 28 oh, some more white cows oh a couple of bulls it looks like too up to 28 and the pedal assist will propel you up there we can, you can award the Throttle either way. But it's got a 42 tooth chain ring and uh, we need I've got a 52 tooth that I need to put on but I also need a new chain to go match it. I'll stop here for a moment. Oh, wow. My thermos bottle lid opened. I may as well get a drink. Now stay closed. Well, the Zoss, X-O-S-S, -S, says we've gone 2.6 miles. The Magicycle meter says 2.5. And the Garmin says we're at 3,932 feet above the ocean. And the distance we've gone is 
2.56 miles. I'd have put everything over to metric. <laughs> uh, let's see, max speed 28.64 miles per hour. Riding on North 450 West. Okay, let's go again. Tightened up my seat on here. And hopefully it's got it tight enough so I don't, uh, the seat doesn't slide down, but we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely windy, and it's coming from the, uh, kind of the south, maybe southwest. Now if I had that 52 tooth chain ring on, I'm in 7th gear now, I could be down in 6th gear, maybe even 5th, and still keep the same cadence. Now I've got the cadence right now, I'm doing 17 miles an hour, and I've still got a little pressure on the chain ring, I'm not ghost pedaling. Because, uh, with a cadence sensor and everything, uh, you can uh, hardly just pedal a little bit and it'll still go. See, uh, my cadence has dropped way down and it'll still go basically the same speed. But I like, I like. <laughs> I like to keep a little pressure on the on the chain when I'm pedaling. I, I don't like to ghost pedal. So about 16, 17 miles an hour is about where the pedaling is. Uh, the, my cadence is about right for me. Otherwise, I, my legs are going like crazy to go much faster. And oh, here comes a van of some kind or another. Up sky. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same driver I've got or not, but I think that was. Let's see if these doggies are out. See. Oh, there, there's doggies. Hey, doggy doggies.
know they used to have goats and sheep in these pens but I guess they decided they don't want to raise them anymore Volunteers needed. I too could become a fireman. <laughs> what did I? What could I do? Sitting on the behind the desk, directing everything. <laughs> yeah, sure. You betcha. Well, I think my seat's not sliding down. I guess I got it tight enough. It's My uh, legs are not a hundred percent straight to the when I have full extension, but they're pretty close. I got a little bend in my knee. Oh, here comes a car behind me. I think I'll go down the hill past Chewy's and then go west on uh, 720 or to the county line. <laughs> yeah. There's Dean's place over there, first place. North 620 West and North 750 West. I drove for, for uh, Glambia, or not Glambia, but uh, Drone Cheese with Giltner Trucking for a very short time, only a few days, and I uh, this place here was one of my stops. Working too hard! Change that around a little bit around there. Uh, I had to back in and suck the milk out of the tank. Because that was several years ago. When was that? 2005? 
about 20 years ago. Holy cow, time flies. Look at all the smoke. You can hardly see the hills up there. And I'm breathing in all that healthy air. Ferguson Baylor on the big bales, one tonners. Oh, I think I gotta stop for a minute. Get off my seat. My butt's getting a little sore. Oh. a little better. I'm going to get another drink of water. Yeah, you can hear that wind. Part of the noise, I think, is the uh, air going through the wires on the telephone poles. I got some on both sides of me. And of course, going through the trees. Sometimes those uh, electrical wires vibrate the uh, telephone poles too and sometimes they make a noise, especially if there's a transformer on them. ahead of us with a kind of a white roof and the uh, horses yeah horses in the pasture anyway that belongs to Larry um, Brian Barney's father and I'm not sure how old Larry is but he's older than I am and I'm 76 so he's probably in his 80s I think Brian is probably in his mid-50s, I guess. You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's older than my son, Brian. Well, it looks like we've got about six and a half miles. The elevation here is lower. It's 3,891 feet above sea level. Well, going west toward Gooding, the um, altitude is is less than where I live, or less than Shoshone. Well, by the Garmin, we've gone 6.49 miles, 6.5 by the exhaust, and 6.3 by the magic cycle. My cycle's wrong. The GPS is are much more believable. Uh, yeah, it feels good to get out and ride. I haven't 
gridding in there. This is my last ride, I guess, Friday. Friday morning, or Friday. I'm not sure what. It's. Sometime Friday. Let's see, I've got this battery here plugged in to the bike battery via the the port here on the magic cycle display and I got my blinking light plugged into the battery and my Garmin plugged in and my exhaust is already fully charged and my telephone I don't have plugged in but it's pretty much charged at least when I left home it was I think like 90% charged I watched a video this morning of uh, Richard in South Carolina giving a demonstration of what to do for an older, new e-bike rider. And he did a pretty good deal, too. Because <laughs> Richard, when he first got his uh, event in e-bike, he uh, had a lot of troubles trying to figure it all out and ride. And, and uh, crashed a few times. Of course, when I got my uh, Rad Rover, I crashed uh, two or three times myself, you know, learning how to get it balanced. That, uh... <laughs> anyway, he did a pretty good video about you know, showing newbies how to, uh, what they should do to learn how to, because riding an e-bike, because they're heavy, you know, like this one here, I can't remember what it weighs, but, you know, it's 70 pounds or 80 pounds, something like that. They're not light, not like a 35-pound uh, pedal bike. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah. anyway, he did a pretty good job of doing. They don't have that little ankle biter anymore. Either that or they keep them in the house. Probably got a holding diet or whatever. North 620 West. And this is the uh, Milner Gooding Canal again. Feeds Lincoln County uh, and Gooding County, and whatever's left dumps into uh, the um, Malad River, the uh, Little Wood River, and the Big Wood River. Uh. <coughs> oh man, crazy! And this canal all formed together west of Gooding and become the Malad River. Oh, it's going to follow me. <laughs> okay.
Uh, back to about 16, 17 miles an hour. My cadence is uh, okay. Still got a little pressure on the pedals. But yeah, I need to... I'm thinking about maybe uh, taking my bike up to uh, one of the bike shops that may be up to Haley or some place and have them putting that chain ring on and putting a new chain on for me and cleaning up my bike. Uh. Oh, what's this? This is sugar beets. Sugar beets. This, I think, for sugar beets. Really, really very nice. And there's some horsies. Pinto horse is pretty horse. Hey, horsey, horsey. Oh. Look at all these cows over here. Almost cows. Hey there, cows. See, there's on their mountains of shit. going to turn good. Yeah, it's funny that they uh, like to climb up on the on the hill of mountain of poop. <laughs> uh huh, calves. You like to be up there on the shit. Oh, here they all come. They hear my voice. They're coming over to see me. Hey little cows, actually almost, almost cows, you gonna come over and visit? Yeah, look at it, all they're coming. Oh, and off in the distance over that way is more movement over that way. Oh, a whole bunch of them now. They all coming up here to say hi. Say, hey, human, what the hell are you doing out there talk, trying to talk to cows? Huh? Yeah, look at all these critters. Yeah, boy, several of them. Y'all going to be milkers one of these days? Maybe be a full-fledged milker next uh, next year. Yeah, all kinds of moves. These are all Holstein cows. They Holsteins give uh, a lot of milk. If you're looking for a better fat, a Jersey or a Guernsey or some other breeds that make a lot more butter fat. But these make uh, the qu quantity of milk produced. Ah, isn't that right? You're going to make lots of milk for people to make cheese and butter and drink your milk and and then when they wear you out, they'll butcher you and sell you to McDonald's. Or if you become a downer cow, they'll cut you up for dog food. And cat food. So life's wonderful for cows, huh? Don't you know? Yeah.
So I don't know why they'd like to come and talk, hear me talk. I guess, I don't know, it's kind of goofy. Look at all them lined up there on top of the hill, a bunch behind them. Okay. Hey there, good cows. <laughs> they sure make a lot of racket trying to get their heads out of there. rest way back home so I put the four so when I turn on my gravel road it'll be the right setting you don't have to worry about it Okay, looks like traffic is clear. Get on the road here.